Let's get ready to rumble! Woohoo! You know what that's about? You remember in the boxing ring before Rocky goes after the challenger? Today we got an all out, not to the death Ooh. battle. Oh. We are going to be putting two really unique baits to the test, head to head, side to side. And one of them, I guarantee one of them is going down. <laughs> not literally down, because down would be good water and that's not a bad thing no but that, no but i mean knock out ko out. boom okay okay if you have any idea what we're talking about you're good to go but if not stick around we're going to explain when we get back Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. I'm Megan Fuller. And we have, like we said, a head-to-head -head battle. Everybody has heard of the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Okay. Ooh. Really awesome kind of a bottom-creeping bait. And we'll get more into this in a little bit. But... Mega Bass makes this. It's about seven dollars for one of these. Oh wow! Okay. Okay. But a really, it's a fish catching dude, and so we're it's gonna. Worth it. Oh yeah, and we're gonna put it in the water and show you exactly what it what it does. But here's the deal: we got a challenger, a challenger, dun, dun, dun. weighing in at exactly one half ounce, the same as the Dark Sleeper, the Challenger from Z Man. Gobius! So this Gobius bait is a new Z-Man product. And what do you know about Z-Man products? They're very durable. Yeah, they got that stretchy, stretch Armstrong kind of mm -hmm. elasticity. Yeah, the... and they don't break. Right. And so that might be something that we kind of put into this so so are we going to test them out of the water oh we're going to we're going to test them in the water out of the water all sorts and more importantly we're going to talk a little bit about how to fish these because quite honestly i think a lot of guys fish these wrong oh. so it doesn't matter which bait you're using or one of the other many that there are out there these are only two examples there are many out there but I do think a lot of guys fish these wrong. So we're gonna show you a variety of different retrieves in the pool, swimming it, crawling along the bottom, and then my favorite, hopping it on the bottom. Okay. Hopping. But I do think that there's some definite, like I said, some ways that I think a lot of guys do this that does, probably doesn't get very many bites. Okay. And then we're gonna go compare them outside of the water because I think that has something to do with it also. All right, let's get in the pool and get going, huh? Let's do it, it's Underwater All right. Wednesday. Underwater Wednesday, so you're in the water again? I am, okay. all right. And that tail on the dark sleeper does start to kick the minute you start to move that bait. It's got a very quick tail reaction, and if you kill it and hold it, it may stop, but then it'll kick right back in the gear as soon as you start to retrieve. And the other thing that I like because of that offset weight or that weight that's kind of on a keel, it puts that tail up in the air. And so that tail paddles even when it's being dragged right across the bottom as well. What I'm doing now is hopping that dark sleeper and this guys is my favorite way to fish this bait this is the this is the retrieve that i get the most bites on is just hopping it off the bottom kind of a it basically it goes from crawling it along the bottom and hopping it i do not get a lot of bites swimming this 
like a swim jig or like a swim bait. But when I crawl it along the bottom and then give it sharp little pops, and I'm literally talking about just a, a six inch to a foot kind of pop, that's when I get the strikes. So pop it up and a fish will grab it as it's fluttering back down. So Megan, this bait here is the dark sleeper from Mega Bass. And the first thing that I want to show you, if you can kind of see this, is the the hook is in the thin plastic that is, so that makes a nice weed guard right there. The weeds go over the top, oh, but boy, okay. when a fish bites, that stuff just folds off and it, it makes it really nice to be able, you know, to, to catch the fish in that regard. So okay. this is a really awesome, that fin ends up being a perfectly molded weed guard in the bait. And the keel, if you can kind of get a shot of that, makes it sit just perfect as you run along the bottom of the lake. Okay, I like the eyes. Well, we're gonna, that's funny you said that because we're gonna talk about the eyes in, in a little bit. Now let's okay. talk, talk about the challenger, Gobius. Gobius has the same kind of keel. All right. This is, again, these two baits are the same weight. You notice that it also has a little, the, the fin isn't quite as pronounced. Yeah, it's a lot shorter. But it still sticks up for, and, and there's the hook. Okay. Okay. And because it doesn't have as much in front, that is a factor. There's not as much there. So that you're getting, I'm getting a hook point in my finger right there. Whereas with this bait, I'm getting caught up on a lot of the plastic going this way. It comes down from the top real nice and easy. But coming in from this direction, it takes a little pressure to get that hook point in my finger. So you think the sh shorter one is, could be I'm just be saying better. that from a, I, I, w I want as little as possible in front of that hook, enough to keep the weeds off of it, but not enough to stop that hook from penetrating. Okay. So that's just something to be aware of. Because it's the Otherwise, same, they, sorry, it's the same weight you said? The exact same but weight. they're very but, different in size. Well, one, yes, the Gobius is, is, I think, a quarter of an inch shorter than the Dark Sleeper. Okay. okay. So, Megan, one of the things that we need to tell the viewers is that we are now affiliated with Anglers International Resources, which is a tackle store in Arlington Heights, Illinois, and they sell products online through the website, which is fishinggurus.com. G-U-R-U? G-U-R-U, right. Fishinggurus.com. And for any of our viewers who use the product code MFO, Mark Fisher Outdoors, MFO10, they will get 10% off any items that they buy through fishinggurus.com. And we will have this information in the comments section. And it'll be in, well, it'll, yeah, we'll put this in the, in the description part of this video right. and future videos. So... These are two, two products that are sold at Anglers International Resources and through fishinggurus.com. And you can use that MFO 10 for a 10% discount either way, whether you do it online or in person at the store. So we just wanted to make sure that all of our viewers knew that that was an option moving forward. And also, obviously, we'd appreciate it if our viewers would... Oh, there you go. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We would definitely appreciate that. Let's uh, get back in the water and see how these guys go for round two of Gobius versus the Dark Sleeper. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> we do our own sound, sound effects. In this, mm -hmm. you know. So now we're going to go... And we're going to tie on the Gobius, the Challenger. Oh, Gobius. Let's see how Gobius flutters down pretty nice. Tail kicks 
pretty quick on the retrieve. A nice swimming motion. So now we watch the bait as it falls and then as it starts to scoot along the bottom. Trying to see whether or not that tail is kicking or not as it scoots along the bottom. As you look at the gobius when it sinks down and then just crawling along the bottom. The question that I have, or had at least while I'm doing this, is is the tail kicking to the same degree that the dark sleeper did? And now we're gonna move to the crawling and hopping on the gobius, and let's see how the tail and the bait responds with the hopping action. And remember, this is the this is the technique that I think catches the most fish with these types of baits. All right, we're out of the pool, but the fight's not over. Yeah. So we've got the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Okay. And we've got the Z-Man Gobius. Gobius. And we have seen Gobius Maximus, right? So we've yeah. seen both of them in the pool. And my take on this, and Megan, you were actually up close and personal with these. Mm -hmm. I really liked the tail action on the mega bass i feel yeah. like that tail kept moving no matter if it if the bait was moving at all that tail was moving i do feel like the tail moved on the gobius but maybe there were times when it wasn't fluttering if it was at a slow speed Is right. that that's pretty much what I saw. Mm -hmm. That's what I saw too. Here is the, here's the part that I'm kind of adding, and this is like the knockout punch one way or the other. The Mega Bass, and you can see those eyes on that Mega Bass. The, the common theme that I have heard about this bait is two things one this is a seven dollar bait and these baits get beat up to the point where it doesn't take much and i don't know if i'm going to be able to do this but and i hate doing this to a a seven dollar bait but not oh look at that it did not take much for that eye oh, to come off that's too bad you see that where that eye is just popped popped up because those eyes are hard. Yeah. Uh, they look nice, but then all of a sudden you got a bait that doesn't have the eye in it. Okay. Mm. And the other part, and more commonly is... Wait, I want to do it. <laughs> you want to? Come on. The other part that's more common is fish grabs it by the tail, set the hook, and you end up with that. Boing. Now, on Gobius, the eyes are part of that Elastec material. So you can't do anything to that, nor can you fish bites it and it just pulls and pulls. It's like Stretch Armstrong. Mm. So with Ooh. that, in mind, this is a very, very durable bait that is going to last. How much is that one? This is a dollar less. This is a oh. dollar less than the Mega Bass. So for less money, you get a very durable bait that is going to last. But here's the thing, guys, and, and again, we aren't sponsored by either one of these companies. Right. I would look at it from a standpoint of, do I want to bait the last? Heck yeah. But do I want to bait the catches fish? And the answer is, 
more than heck yeah, okay? I don't want a bait that I'm paying $7 and I'm constantly getting tail bit off. Right. So I would want to fish this in a, because in the pool, they looked very similar. Mm -hmm. It's, but I got to believe that that tail action is the thing that's going to be getting bites. But if you looked carefully at the video that we had when this was hopping, we were getting that tail action as it was fluttering yeah. down because you'd pop it up and and it would fall down and that tail was kicking on that. Yeah, I really liked how it hopped. And and I think that that's really going to going to be the part that gets those strikes. So I guess I'm telling you that my take on this is I'm going to buy it a couple of these dark sleepers and I'm okay. going to fish them. But I'm also going to buy one of these in the same color, the Gobius. And if I can get as many bites on the Gobius, I'm going to fish the Gobius because I'm not going to I'm not going to spend $7 literally you could be spending $7 per fish or per couple of fish. Yeah. By mm -hmm. throwing a bait that's going to get wrecked up that much. So I'm going to kind of leave that one up to you guys to to look at the video and, and pay attention. Either of these baits are available at fishinggurus.com or through Anglers International Resources. So guys, if you want to use that MFO code and go ahead and, and order a couple through there, you're welcome to do that. Yeah. They've got a lot of other uh, neat tackle. And we're going to be doing some videos through them in the coming months uh to kind of show you some things that they have as well we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll be back tomorrow for another episode of mark fisher outdoors stay channeled